Mama, there goes that man. And B, you're my favorite player, man. Always deliver. Get the popcorn ready. It's game time. Don't let the high fashion fool you. These Brooklyn Nets mean business. A shot from earlier on coming down the tunnel, ready to put a show on here at home. And we welcome you to this NBA Cup game with a bit more riding on the line here than usual. Tonight, it'll be the Brooklyn Nets going up against the Chicago. Craig is a player. How long does the excitement of a new season last? I'd say it starts to wear off right about now. You, you got to start bringing your own motivation to every game, and you need to provide your own energy. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Patrick Williams is out there with MP. Then it's Morant. Then it's Donovan Mitchell. And it's Buzelis in at the three. Pass to Mobo. Back to Isaac. Takes the three. Nail from three-point land. Right now, playing with a terrific rhythm. Jonathan Isaac, assertive guy who can burn you with the catch and shoot. To the inside, the kick out to Williams. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Pass to Mobo. Axton is screen on Morant. Shot clock at six. The jump hook. The shot comes out. Good defense by MP. Williams finds Morant. The kick out to Williams. Bulls moving the ball around. Morant passes to MP. Three pointer. Hits the three point bomb. Williams has got six points. Oh, MP getting the basketball exactly where it needs to go when it needs to be there. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks. Yeah, the Nets head coach and I were able to chat. Well, of course, they're concerned about the dynamic Ja Moran. Coach told me the plan is simple. Make things as hard as they can on Ja on both ends of the floor. Make him work on defense and, by crunch time, maybe we can tire him just a little bit. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. Upside, Thomas. Claxton sets the screen for Thomas. A shot's good from Claxton. But Thomas putting that pass on time and on target. Love to see it from that score. Chicago has gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. DB thinking about Cam Thomas. When he gets on a roll, he is tough to stop. Kevin, he reminds me a little bit of the microwave. Vinny Johnson back in the days of Detroit. When this guy is hot, get out of his way and let him do his thing. A nice shot by MP. Defense has to know this. MP, if he gets space inside, he will finish. Nets trail by three. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Oh, Claxton in position. Morant with the steal. From 15 feet away, a rebound by the Nets. And going against Chicago, their first meeting of the season. Pass to Mobo. Here's Whitehead. 
Thomas feeling it out a bit. Over MP. Again, the Nets for two. You have to have patience in the screen and roll. Cam Thomas letting that play develop naturally. Outside Williams. MP against Claxton. Back to MP. Nails the baby hook. Here's Mobo. Last game he had 28 points. Outside Thomas. Maxton a screen on Mitchell. Thomas against Mitchell. Thomas passes to Whitehead. That misses and a chance to tie it there. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And so Whitehead will bring it up for the Nets. They trail by three. Laxton a screen on Morant. Shoots. And it's Brooklyn scoring again. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Pass to Williams. Now, here's MP. Claxton covering. And that one's good. MP. MP's got six. Despite his youth, MP's showing grown man strength. Outside Thomas. Here's Mobo. Floats one. Chicago grabs the miss. MP's got four rebounds in this game. Thomas against Mitchell. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Boy, Mitchell's confidence is off the charts right now. Off the dribble jumper? Yes, sir. Here's Mobo. Here's Thomas. It's hauled in by MP. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Got that one up quick. Mitchell's got his second bucket of the night. From three-point range, Donovan Mitchell attacks with reckless abandon. He'll just keep firing, folks. Outside Thomas. Claxton sets the screen for Thomas. No good, unable to end this run. Well, he tries to answer with a three of his own and can't do it. You can't get caught up in the one-on-one -on -one aspect. And they double up MP. Pass to Buzelis. Now MP. Out to Morant. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. A costly foul there. He'll shoot three free throws. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Bulls? We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. And Brooklyn making a change here. Clowney's checked in. And Chicago also making a switch. White's checked in. And he makes all three. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. That's trailed by 11. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And the Nets decide to take their first time out here. And now we have a moment to recognize the player of the week in the Eastern Conference, MP. And when you have a big man carrying as much of the load as he has, it just makes things so easy for the rest of your team. Completely deserving of the award. Here's Mobo. Pass to Thomas. 
Will it go? Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. What a nice response by Claxton. Knew exactly where it was coming off and sends it in. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. The kick out to Williams. The three ball. Clowney pulls it in. Next trail by nine. Here's Mobo. Outside Thomas. Over Mitchell. Thomas, no good. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Mitchell against Thomas. Over Mitchell. And misses it off the right side of the rim. This guy cannot get started, and the offense overall has been a struggle because of it. And MP throws it down. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey, guys. MP in the last time out against Denver delivered quite a performance. He scored 63 points and caused real problems for shooters with his shot blocking. One of the great performances I've seen in all my years, and I really mean that. Not you guys. Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really fed off his energy. Yeah, the catalyst for that win, it, it was an effort that I'm sure he's hoping to replicate tonight. Well, there's no doubt. He certainly looked like he was enjoying himself in that last game. He had his offense flowing. Nets trail by 13. Here's Mobo. Pass to Whitehead. There's the pick. Launches a three. Offensive rebound. Over to the wing. Here's Mobo. White covering. Moves back up. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. They hold the early advantage on the glass. MP and the dunk by MP. What an incredible game so far for MP. He's showing no signs of slowing down. And it's Thomas with the ball. He brings it up for the Brooklyn Nets. 15-point game. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, for that loss, you can credit their defense or lack thereof. Too many breakdowns on that end of the floor. Well, the kind of low-energy effort they played with all night will make a coach absolutely crazy. You can't win if you don't play quality defense. Several teams changing it up here. Cam Thomas was the 27th pick in the 2021 NBA Draft GA. I think a lot of teams, wouldn't you agree, are regretting passing on him. Yeah, it's pretty hard to believe that he fell all the way to the end of the first round. Lots of teams would love to have a score like him on their roster. Back to Young. And the Nets miss again. And so it's MP making things happen for Chicago. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need. And glad to... He's checked in for Brooklyn. MP's checked in for the Bulls. Bruce Ellis comes in for Max Drews. Chicago leading by 11. Roy is out there with Williams. Then it's Trey Young. And it's Banton in at the shooting guard. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. And MP is letting his play do the talking. He is on one. With the fadeaway. 
MP grabs the miss. MP's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Morant against Young. Pass to Buzelis. Here's MP. Misses the baby hook. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. And still early in the period, and they're only one foul away from being over the limit. That one misses for Young. It seems every season, Doris, we have players speak out on being unhappy with their role. Well, consider, Kevin, that if you're one player on a roster in the NBA, how coveted each of those spots are, but also how competitive they are. You don't get there without that nature, which means you want to play. Steps back and shoots. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To score at the rate they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. Young up top, guarded by Morant. Steps back and fires. Shots good from Young. Young's got his third basket of the night right there. He just exudes a love of the game, guys. You can see it in everything he does. This guy lives and breathes the game. Here's White. Clowney pulls it in. Clowney's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Benton. Here's Clowney. The Nets working the ball around now. Young against White. Young inside. Beyond the arc. Offensive rebound. And the rejection by MP. So it looks like the Nets will retain possession here. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swap that one away. Williams, he's checked in for Chicago. Donovan Mitchell comes in for White. On defense, Chicago. 13-point lead. Here's Claxton. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And, they have and it looks like, yep, it's a coach's challenge on the personal foul. That triggers a replay review by the official. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it... The previous play is under review. Wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now to challenge like this. The ruling on the floor is overturned. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. MP converting the tough bucket. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Nets trail by 13. Now, here is Young. A 24-point outing in their last game against Charlotte. I love that he sacrificed his body over and over. His persistence at getting to the free throw line really paid off for them. To the middle. Here's MP. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Nick Claxton. Oh, crafty move there from MP to get to the foul line. The young man, fearless inside. The Bulls have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. And he makes the first. So for the Nets, Whitehead's checked in for Williams. And Thomas subbed in for Trey Young. And so he makes both from the line. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Pass to Claxton. Stolen by Mitchell. And they're pushing it up. Teardrop shot. It's tipped. Thomas against Mitchell. 
Shoot from 14. Thomas, no good. And so Moran will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. And the basket by MP. MP's got 22. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Pass to Thomas. Down low. Claxton with it. He's coming off a 10-point game against Charlotte. It's all in by the Bulls. MP's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And the big question for MP is going to be work ethic. Because if he can put in the sweat, there's no reason he can't be a star in this league. Chicago shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. And up around 82% as a team a season ago. So they know how to make the most of those opportunities. Jonathan Isaac, he's checked in for Brooklyn. And Chicago also making a switch. Kobe White, he's checked in for John Morant. Pass to Claxton. And here is Thomas. Screen by Claxton. Trains the 19-footer. Thomas got eight. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Outside, White fires the three. Good, and the assist goes to MP. MP's got his fourth assist in this one. Nets trail by 20. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Whitehead passes to Isaac, and Isaac throws it down. Well, when you've got big-time athleticism and power, Jonathan Isaac, be aggressive at the cup. And White kicks to Williams. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Here's MP. Tries again, and the layup is good. MP's got 26. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Here's Mobo. Outside Thomas. And Buzelis gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Lowry Markinen's checked in for White. Thomas outside. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Markinen's got four rebounds now tonight. Well, that's just inconsistency from him, and it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. 13 feet away, and it's Chicago with the rebound. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey, Kevin. Bulls coach Billy Donovan keeps perspective. He says, I used to come back from a tough road loss, go straight to the office and pull an all-nighter, trying to figure out what went wrong. My highs were too high and my lows were too low. You have to realize so much of it is just luck. The breaks of life. Kevin? That's right, D.A. We respect Billy Donovan as much as any coach in the NBA. Uh, but a good outlook there, you're right. Hey, thank you. Brooklyn's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter, only hitting one of five attempts. Here's Whitehead. Still scoreless. The three from Thomas drills the three-pointer. This is what Thomas has to do to be most effective. Make an impact from three-point territory. Inside. The kick out to Williams. Off target with his three. Brooklyn's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just two of six from long range. Hey, who got here? It's Thomas on the wing. MP grabs the miss. 
Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And that sends MP to the free throw line. It's on Nick Claxton. The Bulls have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight. And you have to love the presence MP brings to the floor each and every night. The three from Thomas. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's Chicago. Holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. They've been playing some ferocious defense. Back to the action in just a minute. Hello and welcome. Before we take a look at the action from the first half, a brief overview of some upcoming games. When I look at the Nets, right now a lot of teams are still figuring things out, shuffling rotations, and players are trying to get their timing back. Yeah, plenty of adjustments in the early stages. And looking now at that first half, anything that could have gone wrong did go wrong for the Brooklyn Nets. I hate the shots they're taking, I hate them, the team is stubborn, and you have to be willing to adjust, like us with all these new teams that's been added. Agree, you can't want to be a long range sniper, but if you miss the target enough times, you become the victim. That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. That takes a level of aggression and a level of focus, and he has brought it all night thus far. And for the Nets, they're shooting just 33%, struggling to get good looks. And on the floor for Billy Donovan as we get into the second half. We've got Morant. Patrick Williams is out there with Buzelis. Then it's MP. And it's Mitchell in at the two. McGee just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. To the paint. That's tipped. Claxton with the steal. Whitehead deciding where to go with it. Here's Mobo. Pass to Thomas. Stolen by Mitchell. And Mitchell with a clear path to the hoop. And then Mitchell with the dunk. Well, we talk about Donovan Mitchell as an exceptional two-way talent. No better example than right there. When Donovan Mitchell, Greg, is on the floor, he is the offense. <laughs> Yeah, and that goes beyond just his ridiculous scoring. It gets overlooked that he's also a skilled passer. So one way or another, Mitchell is finding points out there. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. The Bulls leading by 21. Morant dishes to Williams. MP kicks to Williams. Kicks it out to Mitchell. For the three. Bulls with the fresh shot clock. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Pass to Whitehead, and it's a defensive three-second violation. The Nets have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. And look back a season ago. They, they did a solid job at the line. About 79% of their free throws. And the technical free throw is good. Get outside! Get outside! Oh, no. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. 
Pass to Mobo. Now, here's Thomas from outside the arc. And the Nets, another three. And, and looking a lot better now, but still a long way to go to get back into this. Yeah, but this run started with tighter execution at both ends. And, and that'll need to be maintained for them to have a chance to take the lead. There's Williams with the three. Cans it from downtown. Williams has got 12 in the game. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Outside Thomas. Claxton sets the screen for Thomas. Top of the key jumper, no good. You know, missed that one, but still a really good start coming off the break. Three for four now. Outside Williams. Back to MT. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. That's on Jonathan Isaac. And MP still gets the shot in the air. Other young guys might have folded under that foul, but he's able to get to the line. And both free throws good for MP. Brooklyn's gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. Pass to Mobo. And the rejection by MP. Whitehead. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. And a look here at the standings for the NBA Cup early on in the competition. And this tournament has already been a huge success and really a fan favorite. I can tell it's going to be a lot of fun again this year. The Bulls leading by 22. MP inside. Claxton's there. And the basket by MP. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. MP really making a difference here. Yeah, he has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. And now we get a chance to check out Donovan Mitchell, how he performed last season. Tenth in three-point shooting, and he'd make you pay every time he went to the line. Top 20 in free throw percentage. And you know, back to his tremendous efficiency from three last year, top 10 in the league, he's truly a dead-eye shooter when he gets it going. Williams, that's a two-pointer. They get it back, and the dunk by MP. Talk about a guy who never gives up. MP showing great effort. And it's Thomas with the ball. He brings it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Following this one, they get to host the Warriors. That game will conclude a three-game homestand. Pass to Mobo. No good again that time. Chicago has gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And the dunk by MP. I tell you, sometimes you can make a statement with a dunk. MP, yes, sir. The Nets have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Claxton inside, covered by MP. A shot's good from Claxton. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Pass to Buzelis. Here's MP, and he banks in the layup. MP's got 41. Boy, high percentage shot, so valuable. MP making sure he doesn't waste an opportunity. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Thomas with the ball. Axton a screen on Mitchell. Thomas, no luck. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the board has been impressive. And they double up MP. To the inside. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. 43 points for MP. This guy has been unstoppable. It has not mattered at all what the defense throws at him. He's had an answer. Isaac outside. Lobbed up there for Isaac. Whitehead passes to Isaac. 
Thomas outside. Knocks down the three ball. Thomas got 20. Never shy about letting it fly. Cam Thomas, folks. Pass to Buzelis. Inside. Here's MP. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move. And he's got a chance for one more at the line. It's on Nick Claxton. So for the Nets, Clowney's checked in. And it's Williams in for Whitehead. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Markinen, he's checked in for Williams. Max Cruz comes in for Buzelis. Lavert's checked in for Mitchell. And it's Kobe White in for Morant. Oh, I see you, MP. Hammer that thing home. And Young kicks to Thomas. Launches it. Thomas with another miss. Chicago's gone 7 of 15 from three point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. MP, and MP throws it down. Great positioning and timing on that one. MP, great rebound there for the second chance look. Pass to Clowney. Right side, Thomas. Baseline jumper. MP grabs the miss. Chicago has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. And they double up MP. Another one goes. Incredible. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. Outside Thomas. Shot to stop the run. That doesn't go either for Thomas. And Chicago shooting extremely well. 62% of the night to this point. Here's MP, man the call on the shot that sends him to the line. With this pause in the action, let's show you the teams that have scored the most points in the league last season. Number one, the Bulls. Yeah, number one in the league in terms of points per game a season ago. They play as a team, just really unselfish in terms of their brand of basketball. And he can't get the first one. Of course, we're in the world now of super agencies which consolidate player representation. What do you think? Uh, Kev, I think obviously it gives some more power to the players because of the bargaining leverage, but for player movement, does it give more power to the big market teams? We're gonna have to watch this unfold. Wow, the defensive instincts of MP shining through on that block. And here's Struce for three. Chicago now working with a new shot clock. Here's MP. Banked in off the glass. MP's got 54 points. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Chicago. Uh, they've been active defensively, rotating well, and, and then also closing out on shots. It's resulted in a number of blocks. Second chance points have also been a big part of what's happened to this game. Crashing the boards with authority, turning those opportunities into second chance points. Boy, big time, big time on the offensive glass. For Brooklyn, they have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. And the first one at the line is good. Boy, when you talk about rhythm scorer, the first guy or one of the first guys to come to mind is Cam Thomas. Very difficult to slow him down when he gets on a heater. White dishes to Markinen. MP kicks to Struess. Great open look there. Struess has got six points. And pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Outside Thomas. Bobbed up there for Thomas. And Thomas with the stuff. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley -oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Right the pass to Markinen. MP kicks to Levert. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. It's Struess on the wing. A three-pointer is right on target. Struess has got five points in the quarter. This is why Struess is on the floor. His ability to spread you out from deep. Outside Thomas. And here's Young. He's got eight. Outside Thomas. Just five on the clock. Shoots over Struess. Thomas, no good. 
And so, MV will bring it up for the Bulls. Spruce kicks to MV. Tipped away. Back to Levert. MV outside. Pass to Struce. No good from outside. Here's Levert. On the wing, MV. What an incredible scoring display he has put on tonight. Outside, Markinen. White with it. Down low. MP passes to Levert. MP kicks to Levert. Tries yet again. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. MP's got assist number seven for him tonight. And so it's Chicago. Able to put on a show for the agents. They have made it very tough to get a now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy. Group out there on the floor for the Nets. MVs checked in for Chicago. Brooklyn's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. We've got Whitehead, Isaac out there with Nicholas Claxton. Then there's Cam Thomas. And it's Mobo in at the one. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. And when he gets it going, this is what can happen. They need to think about the double team now. Struess finds MP. Back to Struess. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Three. Struess has got five points now this quarter. Brooklyn's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. It's Thomas on the wing. Pass to Claxton. Back to Thomas. Here's Mobo. Shoots over White. It's hauled in by the Bulls. And that's where you want to make the next pass. This guy is a good scorer, but the defense was right on him. Claxton against MP. Man, look at the wingspan of Nick Claxton on display. He sends that thing back. Outside Thomas. Back when you play, Greg. The offseason was more of a dead period for the league. Not anymore. They, they want to make it year-round. Every month, something's going on. Kevin, I love Vegas Summer League. It, it's given us some extra hoops. It's created a ton of excitement for the future. And, and also the trades and signings. The NBA is a 12-month-a-year league. Drills it from outside. And one of the stories of the second half has been all of those second chance points. I mean, they have been terrific on the offensive backboard. Here's Whitehead. Pass to Thomas. Isaac a screen on Levert. Near the three-point line, it's Thomas. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Isaac against Markinen. Mobo gets the basket. Well, Jonathan Isaac coming such a long way in terms of his awareness and vision. Nice setup. And for the Bulls, their shooting has been outstanding in this game at 58%. Levert the pass to MP. And here is Truce. On the wing, Markinen. Yet another bucket. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. Here's Mobo. Outside Thomas. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And the league clearly focused on making regular season games matter. 
You think, you think uh, more steps are coming? Well, let's give the league credit because they've left no stone unturned. The play-in, the in-season tournament, the 65 games rule, all implemented with that in mind. Here's of Nurkic. He's checked in for Chicago. Oladipo comes in for Karis LeVert. Outside Thomas. And the call will be against Yusuf Nurkic. That's his first foul. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. MP against Isaac. Pass to Thomas. Back to Isaac. Five on the clock. Four, four. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. There's a versatility to young Mr. Jonathan Isaac. A big man with range for days. He is going to space the floor for you. Markinen finds MP. Whitehead with the rebound. Whitehead's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Mobo. White covering. Pass to Whitehead. Outside Thomas. Axton a screen on Oladipo. From deep, Thomas. Rebound by the Bulls. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Chicago. And as one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year, actually their fifth win on the year. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for MP. Boy, I think he made his presence felt in the paint more than anywhere else. This guy's rebounding numbers were outstanding. He controlled the glass. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 56 seconds left in the fourth. Pass to MP. And got it! Another basket. 60 points. This guy cannot be stopped. They've had no answer for him in this one. Brooklyn with the ball. Now Claxton. Oh, Claxton in position. Nurkic with the steal. It's Oladipo on the wing. They grab their own miss. Markinen in the corner. The three. It's hauled in by Claxton. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Mobo. Isaac outside. Always going up for the alley-oop here. That shot is off. And the timing just not there on that attempted alley-oop. Just a missed connection, and it happens. I'm sure they will go back to it if given the opportunity. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. And tonight. Great win tonight, MP. Way to bring home that W.